What is going on, Mad Lads? In this video, we are going to be doing a Wing Riser install. Now, it's the it's six bolts that are pretty easy to get to. Uh, for me, they were 10 millimeter. For you, they could be different just because the one that I have installed is already aftermarket. Get the eyes open. Hey, we're here. Yeah, we're here. Where's your at the store? Yeah, we're at the store. Let's go and just whoa! Yeah, we're here. Where's the cars? Look at some over here. Come on. Oh, here. We had to get some pop to car parts. Yeah, oh, right here? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Some beach ones right there. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> oh, oh! Yeah! You know how to use this to fix Dad's car too! That one too? Yeah. That one's cool. I like it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, what? Kia, what? This we one? We got the part we need, alright? Okay, let's, let's go, okay? Let's go. Whoa, whoa, this one's going to be fun! Yeah? Hey, do we have to get some okay. cars out here? Okay. We're going? We're going. Hmm. Yes, we're going. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Whoa, so what? Cool tools over here. Whoa. Hey, Dada. Hmm. Can, can you read those to fix that car? Yeah. The engine. Uh, I don't think we need that. Look at that. That looks cool. Uh, do we have a. No. Can I use my bumper? Uh, my no. Yeah. Yes, there you go. This one's where to fix this car to go fast. Yeah. Two. Let's see what we're doing.
right, so an update is that when I took this off, the, I don't know what you want to call this, the portion that you would screw this the nut into uh, came off. <laughs> so I, need to, I got some JB Weld and I'm going to put this back in, let it set, and then uh, we'll be able to mount it back up on the car. Okay, so after doing just enough research, I can confidently tell you that this is the pattern that it needs to be in, where you have the longest on the out furthest sides, then you have the shorter ones in the middle, and then you have the medium sized ones that go in the absolute middle. I'd say it's important to probably start just doing it finger tight, and then once you have it all lined up proper with the car, then you can tighten it down. So my final thoughts are, I would definitely recommend it. However, I would preemptively go buy uh, better hardware. Uh, one of the things I would recommend is something that's longer than a one inch screw, maybe a one and a half or two inch screw would be good. Anything longer than that, I think you might be overdoing it or at least you don't want to go all the way through it and to the other side. Uh, I would recommend Loctite just to make sure, but I would also say that if you're going to be putting this wing riser in, I would expect to not being able to remove it after insulation. So if you want to get a wrap or something to be done, I would do that first and then put the wing riser on. There's plenty of wing riser kits out there. The one that I put on is my Woosh Motorsport. 
Um, I think it was a pretty good kit. I just think that the hardware needs to, the screws that go with it need to be a little bit longer. So for recommended, I would say uh, out of five stars, I'd say four. It's, I don't think it's necessarily, I don't think it's necessary, but it does look nice. Um, it's kind of gives it a little lip, but there's plenty of other aftermarket things that you can put on the edge of the, of the wing itself that still gives it the same effect without actually popping the whole wing. And then of course, as always, thank you to W as a sponsor. Uh, however, I'm going to segue and I'm going to say, if you like a hat like this, then you could go over to uh, sr71industries.com and help sponsor me that way. I would, if I'm going to be sponsored, I would much rather be sponsored by myself. That way I'm not beholden to uh, anybody else's ideology other than my own. Uh, so anything and everything helps. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye.